Up next on Hobby Link International, troubleshooting bubbles in your airbrush cup. Hey everybody, it's Kenny Conklin from Hobby Link International and welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the SOTAR 2020 from Badger. If you were with us, well, probably maybe four months ago or maybe even longer, we tried to troubleshoot this airbrush before. We're going to try to troubleshoot it again because Mark sent it back to me. He got a new one. We're going to see if we can figure out what's going on with this guy. So let's not babble on in the front end of the video. Let's just get over to the bench and talk about the airbrush. So this is the SOTAR 2020. I'll give you a little history behind this airbrush. This airbrush was bought by Mark Shu. He sent it over to me once before to check it out. We couldn't get it working. So we're gonna check it out again and see if we can figure out the problem with it. Uh, this was bought on amazon.com. I suggest that you do not buy airbrushes from Amazon. I've heard bad stories. We know this one was used before and I'll show you a few things about this airbrush. So this is what comes in the airbrush case. I noticed um, the padding itself was pushed up and I know Mark didn't do that. So that's a sign that it was, it was used before it was even used by Mark. Another couple signs that the airbrush was used. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but around the knurling on the air valve over here, the gold is showing through from the body. So somebody used something on there that that shouldn't be used on there. Also the pin has a scrape in it. Badger does not send you anything like that. And we're gonna take a look inside the color cup to show you one more thing. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see the brass coloring at the bottom of the cup. You shouldn't have that either. When this comes fresh from Badger, that'll all be the color of the body. Somebody used this and repacked it and they must have, they must have broken it, didn't know how to fix it sent it back and Amazon just reshipped it out. You can also see some damage in the paint around the cup and that's not a good thing either. The other thing I noticed is there's a piece missing here that's usually another paint tip to go along with the other paint protector. So that's missing and taken. This is also black. So there are two fine needles in here. Usually this package comes with two different types of needles and two different heads. So the person either didn't realize they were grabbing the fine needle and switched the wrong needle. They kept two mediums, they wanted mediums for some reason, or they were idiots and did not realize what the color codes on the needles meant. So let's get into working on this airbrush and see if we can get it going. Sorry, but you're gonna be hearing some noise from the air compressor. I already got this on. I can feel air coming out. So all I'm going to use is alcohol in here and see if we can spray alcohol because last time we couldn't get any type of fluid coming out. I got alcohol down the, down the bottom or the side of the cup. All right, so let's see, let's see what happens. We're either going to get nothing again or we're going to get something. And we're getting nothing out and we're getting bubbles. Lots and lots of bubbles. So we're getting bubbles in our cup. We're not getting anything out of the air valve itself, it looks like. Over here, I don't feel anything. Actually, there is a little moisture coming out. Oops, sorry, trying to keep that in focus for you. Coming out over here was a little bit, but not really. I'm gonna open up the trigger all the way and see what happens. Nothing, we're just getting more bubbles. That's it, okay. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to check the, now that's screwed on there way, way, way tight. I don't know why. Oh no, there we go. We got it finger ready. So I'm just going to adjust this just in case it is the air valve. The needle looks straight. The paint tip is on there. And we're going to see about readjusting the air cap and see if we get any any flow out of it now. If not, then we know it's not the air cap. Nope, bubbles again. Okay, so my next step to this is I'm gonna break it down and run it through the ultrasonic cleaner again, and then I'm gonna rebuild it, and we will see how it goes from there. And we're back. I didn't wanna take up your time showing you the disassembly and reassembly of the airbrush. You've guys seen that before on other videos where we're back to empty, back to clean, 
and hopefully that's the only problem. We're going to find out here in a second. All right, the moment of truth. Do we have a good airbrush or am I flustered again? And there we go. Super bubbles, nothing coming out. So we know now it's not the air cap. There's nothing clogging the airbrush because I've cleaned it multiple times. The needle isn't bent. So we're gonna have to do more investigation on this airbrush. Okay, now that we know it's not this piece, oh, I almost, uh, almost stabbed myself. Don't stab yourself with the needle on this fine one. It is sharp. So we know it's not our air cap. We know there's nothing in the body because we have broken this down and cleaned it multiple times. This piece actually, oops, sorry. This piece actually comes in two pieces, the cap and the body part here. I've taken those apart and cleaned out the inside. So that just leaves me this little piece right here, which you're barely going to be able to see. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. This is the paint tip. Very, very fine. So we're going to take a look at this and see if this is our problem. Okay, after looking at that piece, that is our problem. There's a huge crack in it, and I'm going to show you a couple pictures right now of how I found the crack, what the piece is supposed to look like without the crack, and what it looks like with the crack, and also a couple other pictures dealing with parts on this airbrush. So in this goofy picture right here, you get to see how I was able to magnify the paint tip to see what was going on with it. In this picture here, this is what your paint tip is supposed to look like. It's supposed to be one solid piece. They are made of a soft metal, so you gotta be very careful with them. And in this picture here, you can see the huge crack in the paint tip, and this is what was causing our problems with the bubbles in the cup. So you would have to replace this part, and then your airbrush should be fine. This picture shows you the lock nut where you can use the Allen key to lock it in place. So if you're not zeroed out with the diamond, you loosen up the lock nut, get you to zero, tighten it up, and you should be able to remember what numbers you're using at the diamond. In this picture here, this hole is where you use the Allen key again. This way you can take off that handle if you don't want to use it without scraping up the body of the airbrush underneath it. And this is actually the proper wrench that you should use to take apart the airbrush nozzle. Well, we finally solved the problem of the broken SOTAR 2020 from Badger. It had nothing to do with what Mark was doing, what I was doing. It was actually the person that bought this. They probably had no clue what they were doing with an airbrush. They, they got it all gunked up and put too much pressure and shot you know, a high amount of paint through there at a high pressure, or they were just using it on high pressure, or they put their their needle through there, because remember that little tip is very, very soft. So they did something to ruin that tip and they had no clue what they did. So I guarantee you what they did was they bought another one from Amazon, kept the parts they wanted, shipped this one back. Amazon doesn't even look at stuff because I've got tons of broken stuff from Amazon that I had in return and Amazon just shipped this one out. So my suggestion to you is stay away from Amazon for any type of airbrush. Iwata, Badger, doesn't matter. Get your airbrushes from a reputable place instead of Amazon. So if you have any questions or comments, hit them in the comment section below and I will get back to you as quick as I can. And if you're having any trouble with those bubbles, remember to check those three things. Check if your airbrush is clogged, check if your needle is straight, and check if the little paint tip is, is destroyed pretty much. So check those out and you should have no problem getting the parts and fixing your airbrush. Thank you everybody for stopping by and checking out the video. We'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.